What up, what up, what up, ladies and gents, Mr. Harris here. Let's talk. I was watching a video a couple weeks ago that led me down a rabbit hole I was not intending to go down, but I'm glad I saw it anyway. I was watching a video a couple weeks ago, and the video stated, the video was about how 90% of the American population lives on, the, on, on one half of the United States. And let me see if I can pull up a, a photo for you guys, because this is deep, this is deep, this is important. This is important because this is gonna tell you exactly why real estate 10, 20, 30, let me not say 10, 20, 30, 40 years from now, property's gonna be priced out. Everything is gonna keep going up. You have to buy a house. Not saying today, not saying tomorrow because the market is down. You have to have a, a goal to buy a house within three, five, 10 years. Why? Because real estate will continue going up. Real estate will continue. The motherfucker isn't coming down at all, bro. It ain't coming down. It will even out. It will correct. It will never go back. And it took me, it, it, it takes me now this recession as well as doing the, the fucking homework to research this stuff. I wish, I wish I knew this stuff from years ago. The research that it takes to go into figuring out exactly why and how real estate will forever be pricey and will become even pricier. Taxes will go up on the pricing of real estate as the values go up on real estate. Why? Because there is only a limited amount of usable, livable space, land, while being able to get the resources you need based upon where you're at. Now, let me let me let me pull up some photos for you guys. Hopefully, hopefully it comes in pretty decent. Pretty decent, pretty decent, pretty decent, pretty decent. My bad, I got photos of my girl right here, my little lady. I miss very much. Alright. So y'all know, everybody knows this map right here, right? This map right here, hopefully you can see it pretty well. This is basically uh, the US where it shows like above above the United States and the East Coast, East, you know, go down the middle of the United States of America down the map, right? Go straight down. This side, of course, you don't see as many lights. This side, you see all these lights. These lights represent how many people are on this side rather than this side of the country. The video stated that 80% of the population lives on this side, this side. The reason it stated that most people do not live on this side is because of water. Because the wind, we have the East Coast, so the wind blows in water, carries over water from the ocean. There's mountains right here, like above California, which block a lot of uh, rain and wind and what would be water to come over into these areas so there's there's a water shortage here even to this day there is a water shortage right now in these areas right here on the west on the west side right however they're able to get by because they have the colorado river they have certain rivers and stuff like that over there all that shit is drying up right now right and so this is why you see i'm sure this is a contributing factor to why you see a lot of californians coming to tennessee coming over to north carolina coming to the northeast because they understand Sorry, if you can't see it. They understand, well, one, the prices and everything else is probably more expensive. But also, if you have any type of a long-term thought process, you understand that down the line, water, water is already being discussed right now. Water is going to become an even more important commodity in the future going forward. So, I don't know if you can see it, but th this is a map of them going down, straight down the U.S. right here. And it basically... It goes straight down the middle, and on the east coast, the right side, you have Dallas, Oklahoma City, Wichita, and stuff like that, and it goes all the way up. On the other side of the line, you have Dodge City, Amarillo, Abilene, and Midland. I wouldn't go that far because just because it's the water. Water is going to be an issue, if you can see this map right here. Um, damn, I thought I had more, more freaking... I thought I had way more. Okay. Basically, this, this uh, I'm sorry that I, I wish I knew how to do the screens and all of that. I got a, I got a lot to learn. But basically, in this map right here, it basically states that 
250 million Americans live on the east side, the right side, 30 million Americans live in the middle, and then 50 million Americans live along the west coast seaboard. Los Angeles, San Francisco, San Diego, Seattle, Portland. But there's 30 million Americans right in between where it's it's not that it's uninhabitable, but they don't get enough water. If you don't get water, how are you gonna freaking live, right? So most of the population is is basically, let's say Texas, the middle of Texas going up all the way going towards New York. That whole east side, 80% of Americans uh, live on that side, right? What does that mean for real estate? That means one, a lot more people over the next decade and two from, from this side will come over. They will come over to the East Coast. That is gonna continue to drive values up on the East side, as well as the fact that we have corporations uh, purchasing property in the most affordable run, Rust Belt cities. Real estate will continue to go up. If you do not own, you will be priced out. I was last night up looking at Baltimore. Baltimore. Baltimore is crappy, but guess what? I remember in 2015, shout outs to Noel. He was talking about buying property in Baltimore when he was saying properties were going for $15,000, $30,000 in Baltimore. I'm just like, yo, why? And he said he was, he, him and people were driving down together to buy property down there. I'm like, I couldn't see it. I couldn't understand why Baltimore. I was looking at Baltimore yesterday. Why Baltimore? Well, one, yes. Crime is terrible. It's all over the place. Let me tell you something. The elites are not going to continue. Listen, the, the crime is allowed to go on for a reason for a certain amount of time. After, event, after a certain amount of time, when they've completed and enough people are upset, they'll either bring the military in or they're going to have a lot more technological surveillance going on. Either way, I don't, I don't foresee crime going on the way it's been going on forever. Something is going to be done to counteract all of that. Same with Philly. Same with Baltimore, same with New York, right? And either way, we got to be able to secure property. Me, personally, it is not my goal to live in Baltimore forever. However, if I can pick up 10 rental properties for, and I was looking at $100,000 properties in Baltimore. If I could pick up a $100,000 property, 10% down is only 10,000. Don't even talk to me about three and a half down, which is only $3,500. Rent it out at affordable rates to, 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 to good people and let that just appreciate over time because I, I, I personally, listen, I never thought in the Bronx I would see million dollar home. We are seeing million dollar homes in the Bronx and it continues to appreciate decade after decade. And I believe that is going to be with every other city and state, especially, and this is why I looked at Baltimore, especially cities that have an international airport. An international airport means Asians, Indians, money that is out of the country can come directly to that city or state and transact and do business. I was reading something about every city that has an international airport is going to be a major hub in the next couple of years, which is why I said Baltimore. I noticed Baltimore has an international uh, airport. So these are just things that we have to be, be paying attention to. And it's just crazy. I've never put as much research into understanding real estate in my whole career, 10 years, as if as, as much as I have done in the last three months, because I've never had to go through a recession. But as I'm still trying to understand the in intricacies of a recession and what it means for the housing market, as well as the fact of how many transactions are probably going to dip, I'm probably going to have to work a whole lot harder just to make the same kind of money before. But to be able to 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 understand like how important we all know housing is important, but the details, the details of of housing, we we see how the suburbs is going out of style. People want to come back to the city. People want black people's property. Why? Because we have great real estate uptown here. Black people, we're smack dab in the middle of Westchester. Smack dab in the middle of everything else. Everything is here. And in every major city is similar to that because when whites were going to the suburbs, black people were coming to the city. And black white people started moving out, so those black people started coming in. Guess who's coming back and guess who's moving out? You see it, right? So this is why I say, don't stress, don't get anxious, but please understand, we have to buy real estate. And we have to buy real estate in a timely manner. Not one year, not two years, take time depending upon where you're at, but you have to secure something for yourself because everyone needs a place to live. 
And the numbers show that those who have property, their wealth and net worth significantly increase over time at a faster rate and at a larger amount than those who just rent. Please don't let them, them these idiots lie to you, oh, it's better to rent. They are effing lying to you while they tell you that they're buying property. Grant Cardone. <laughs> okay, listen, this is not, oh, you got to do it to set a plan. It might take you two years. It might take you three years. It might take you four years. Put the time down and make it happen. But please do it before 2030. I would say definitely before like 2028, 2027. Definitely before 2030. You don't want a house. You want a rental property. You want to be able to rent out a room or two so that even if you lose your job, you know that you can still bring in money from your rental income. Do not buy no single family house unless you're going to house hack and rent out those rooms. Thank you for watching. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Let's talk this real estate, baby. Later.